Hi there, Bliss Queen. It's so good to see you here today. I'm Aksha and I'm going to guide you through an all-level vinyasa yoga flow to get deeper into your body. This flow would be a good reset button for both body and mind. In addition to power moves to strengthen and tone your full body, this class will also offer feel-good stretches so that you finish feeling strong and refreshed. All you need for this class is yourself and an open mind. And once you're ready, hop onto your mats. Let's start the flow in the child's resting pose. Extend your arms as you send your glutes down to the legs. Folding your head down, close your eyes and breathe. Begin to center yourselves and prepare your mind and body for this beautiful vinyasa flow practice. Coming up on your hands, curl the toes underneath and begin to draw a big circle engaging forward and back sending the glutes down to your legs. Working in any one direction, feel free to move in ways to release any tightness from your body. And return the circles to the other side, down as you swing your body all the way forward, shifting your weight down to your hands. Getting into the cat and the cow stretch, arching your back and gazing up to the ceiling, opening out for your chest, inhale and exhale, rooting yourselves down, dropping the chin down. Continue to flow on the cat and the cow, waterfall stretch to warm up your spine, to open up for your shoulders, your chest. Connecting with your breathing cycles as you inhale and exhale. Rounding your spine, we're getting into hip space back and forth. Feel free to drop as low as you can. Now curl the toes underneath. Reaching yourselves for Adho Mukha Svanasana or the Downward Facing Dog. Sink your upper body down towards the legs. If you are a beginner trying to build on your flexibility, you can bend your knees. Now feet together, begin to give me marches, lifting your heels off, peeling away from the mat. And returning back to the mat. Let's isolate the hip muscles to do the pelvic tilts, arching your back and rounding for your back. In and out. Keep flexing it, beautiful strengthening work for your pelvic floor muscles. And reaching back once again to the downward facing dog. This time I want you to lift one leg at a time. Let your head hang heavy, let the blood circulation hit your face. And dropping your knees back down. This time you're going to take your right leg to the gateway between your hands for a big runner's lunge. Shifting your body weight forward and begin to open up for a rotational stretch. Your right hand presses down to your right thigh 
open the leg out, turn and look towards your right shoulder. Now take both your hands to the inside of your right leg. Move back and forth. back to the center let's switch and do the same thing for the left leg in between the hands and shifting the body weight forward and back sending the left leg to the edge of the mat opening your chest out for the rotational stretch Dropping both the hands to the inside of the leg. Sending movements to your body. Feel nice, feel comfortable in the space. And back to the center. Let's get into Uttanasana for this downward facing dog and march your legs forward towards your hands and if you're not able to reach your feet down you can bend your knees now for the ragdoll sways I want you to get hold of your elbows sway it left and right hang your body from your hips Diving straight into Malasana or Yogi Squat. Spread your legs. Your elbows pushing your legs to open more. Hands in Namaste. Hands down. Let's mobilize your hips a little bit more. Begin to move, lifting your heels and the balls of your feet. Uttanasana forward fold, pressing up and bending your legs down. Getting into the vinyasa flow here as you move up and down. Building strength, building flexibility and all those lovely fitness components. Let's do two rounds of Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation to keep up with the flow. Standing in Tadasana, hands in prayer in front of you. Taking a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out with your mouth. For the next big inhale, swing your hands all the way up, palms together. Exhale, folding yourselves down. If you're a beginner, you can bend your knees. Inhale up to tabletop. Exhale, fold down. Take your right leg behind for the big lunge. Drop the back knee down. Soft gaze forward. Exhale, taking the left leg down. The knees drop down for a modified plank. Sinking your hips and your chest down to the mat for Chaturanga. Reaching with soft gaze for Bhujangasana. Curl the toes underneath. Reaching up for Adho Mukhaswanasana or the downward facing dog. Bend the knees if you are a beginner. Staying here for a couple of deep breaths. Reaching on a big leap forward with your right leg. Dropping the back knee down, soft gaze forward. And letting your legs meet, down for forward fold. Up for a table, half top. Exhale down. As you swing your hands all the way up to prayer, looking up to the ceiling. 
exhaling, hands come down to heart center in prayer. Taking another deep inhale through your nose. Exhale in the space. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Exhale, folding down. Bending the knees if that feels good. Half tabletop with an active back. Exhale, fall forward. The left leg goes behind this time on a big giant leap. Dropping the back knee down, soft gaze forward. Setting back on for the right leg for the modified plank with engaged core. Inhale here. Exhale, sinking your hips and your chest down for Chaturanga. Reaching up, palms pressing down for Cobra. Curl the toes underneath. Getting back on your knees and to the downward facing dog. Giant leap forward, bringing your left leg to the gateway between your hands. The feet meet each other, dropping your head down heavy, reaching up with an active back for tabletop. Exhale, fold down. One big swing up to start. Hands in prayer. And down to Tadasana. One more round of Surya Namaskar. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, reaching your hands up to prayer. Exhale, folding your cells down, head drops down heavy. Inhale, active back. Exhale, dropping down. Inhale, right leg behind, drop the knee down. Exhale, left leg behind. Inhale here on plank. Exhaling, dropping down for Chaturanga. Inhale, exhale for Cobra, curling the toes underneath, reaching for the downward facing dog. Stay here as you breathe for a few seconds. Joint leap forward with your right leg in front. Exhaling, bringing the left leg together to meet the right. Inhale, up. Active back, exhale, fold, inhale, hands all the way up, palms together, exhaling down to heart center in prayer. Finishing off for the left side, inhale and exhale with your mouth into dasana. Next big inhale, rooting to rise, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, active back, exhale down. This time left leg goes behind, dropping the back knee down. Right leg behind for the plank. Engage your core, sinking your hips down, chest down for Chaturanga. Pressing the palms down, reaching up for Cobra. Curl the toes underneath, downward facing dog. As we bring the left leg forward, dropping the right knee down to the ground. The legs meet each other. Active back up. Exhale down. Finishing with one deep inhale, reaching high. And exhale, centering your hands down to heart center in prayer. And with that, we shall get to the center of the mat for some warrior drills. Open your legs out, your toes facing forward. Engage your core and hinge from your hips without rounding for your back. Maintaining an active back, extending the arms above your head. 
try not to bend your knees. Without losing the engagement on your core, I want you to slide your hands, dropping down to the mat. You can bend the knees to reach to the mat. Staying down, drawing the navel into your spine. And rooting yourselves to high, back to the center. We're getting into the warrior drills on Virabhadrasana. Pivoting for your right leg, bending in for your right knee. Make sure the body is facing forward. High on the spine, open your hands out. Open all your fingers, engaging for your fingertips and soft case right side. Let's get to an extended side angle, dropping your right hand down to the thigh, extending for the left side body. You can advance the pose, dropping the right hand behind you like so. If not, just stay wherever you are. And coming back to the center once again, we're getting into Trikosana or the Triangle Pose. Pivoting for the same right leg, gliding your right hand down to your leg. And reversing in for the Triangle. Soft gaze up to the ceiling and hold. Cart wheeling your hand behind. Keep switching forward for triangle and the reverse triangle. Flow in with your body, connect with breathing cycles here. Inhaling down. Exhaling with your mouth as you come up. Engage your core a bit. Great work for your waist, for your obliques. Now folding both your hands down to the front, dropping the head down heavy. Take a moment to breathe, feeling the stretch behind your leg. And back to the center. Let's switch the drills to the other side, pivoting your left leg this time, engaging your core, tightening your trunk, bending your left leg, holding your hands out erect and gazing to the left side. Dropping the left hand down to the thigh, extending for the side angle for the right side this time. Dropping down if you are advancing with your asan and hold as you breathe. And back to the midline for triangle. Sliding your hand down to wherever you can reach or where it feels good. Extending the arm and holding high. Cartwheeling, take it behind. Inhaling down. Exhale with your mouth up. Inhale down. Exhale, reach. And one last one. As you fold yourselves down, dropping the head down heavy without bending in your knees. Good work, everybody. March your legs out. Kick your legs and shake out your hands. Let's come to a lying down position on the mat to finish off with some cooling asanas. Bringing your knees in towards your chest, 
begin to rock yourselves back and forth. Let's draw slow circles with your legs and passively working for your back. And return the circles to the other side. Supta Padda Konasin for this feet together, knees apart, guiding your hands down to your inner thighs for more awareness. Let's hold it here, just sink in with your breath. Beautiful release on your legs, on your groin. Keeping your legs to the mat distance, open it wide, dropping the legs down for internal and external rotations for the sleepy leg stretch left and right. For Supta Madhyandrasana, one leg taken over the other and I want you to drop both your legs to one side, extend for the other arm and soft case to the other side here. Now switch to the other side once you're ready. Drop it down and breathe. interlacing your hands and taking it right over your head. Extend your legs out and begin to flex and point your toes underneath to settle in for your body. Circle out your ankles. Last but not the least, getting into Shavasana or the corpse pose. Spread your legs out, palms opened up by your side. Begin to work on your breathing cycles here. Normalize your breathing with easy inhales and exhales. Let the body flow down to gravity. You can guide both your hands down to heart center. And feeling grateful and thankful for all the things that you are capable to do in this class. Thank you so much for carving your time and spending your energy with me on the mat today. It was truly an honor for me to guide you through this practice. And thank you for moving towards happiness.